Well, it all started about a week ago, when my dad's company transferred him to Atlanta. So while my parents went looking for a new house, they decided to dump me at my great aunt Catherine's place. Evan, it's only for a few days. But Aunt Catherine's so weird. Oh, she's not weird. Oh, she's uh, eccentric. She smells like mothball. <laughs> She's always making those really gross sugar cookies. Hey, I thought you liked those. They taste like kitty litter. Plus, Trigger has to stay outside the whole time. Catherine can't help it if she's allergic to animals. I think she's creepy. Evan? Well, I do. She's always sneaking around, like she's hiding something. That's ridiculous. She's a perfectly nice, slightly eccentric woman, and she's very fond of you. Well, I still think she's creepy. Catherine. Nice to see you again, Paul. Lauren. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Evan. Uh, hi. Thanks so much for taking Evan in. He's really looking forward to it. Oh, honey, uh, the plane. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll speak when we get back. Hi, sweetie. You and Catherine have a good time now. Be good. Thanks again, Catherine. Before you do anything, tie that beast up in the backyard. And then you may come in and have a nice sugar cookie. You may take the room at the end of the hall on the right, Evan. And whatever you do, stay out of the room across the hall. Do you understand? Forbidden. Do you understand? Forbidden. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never I... come into this room again. Never. 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 He's, um, he's friendly. Um, what's his name? Um, Trigger. Hi, Trigger. Um, I'm Evan. Hi, I'm Andy. Oh, <laughs> oh Trigger! Don't worry, I've already read it. <laughs> that dumb dog lead anything. <laughs> you don't live here, do you? No, I'm just staying with my aunt for a while while my parents look for a new house in Atlanta. Is she home? Um, no, I think she went out shopping. Oh, good. So this woman that lives here, is she really your aunt? Well, my great aunt, Catherine. Yeah, I know. She's uh, yeah, pretty weird. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy? 
Okay, okay, she's really creepy. She's always playing that bizarre music at night. Everyone in town talks about her. She's weird, all right. She also drives that old car. I know, I know. My parents think she's just eccentric, but I think she's got all these secrets. What kind of secrets? Well, well, there's this room that I'm not supposed to go into. But I did. Oh, just for a couple seconds. And, oh, man. What? What happened? Well, there was all this scary-looking stuff, all these burned-down candles and things. Can I see the room? Forget it. Come on, she'll never know. No, we better not. You're just scared. Not much of a housekeeper, is she? Don't touch anything or she'll know we were in here. Look at these books. Spell of the Monk Club. Curses for all occasions. Revenge made easy. Yeah, not exactly your average library, is it? do with these things. Oh, check this out. Monster blood. What was that? I don't know. What is this stuff? I don't know what that is. It's warm. Feels like rubber. <laughs> half for you, and half for me. We'll put the empty bottle back, and she'll never know the difference. But what if she goes looking for it? This jar hasn't been opened in years. It's not like we're stealing it. We're just playing with it and then putting it back. I guess. That's her! That's Aunt Catherine's car! Get down! Get down! Andy Evans' friend? Are you related to the Chicago Evans' friends? Huh? Do you think your aunt suspected anything? I hope not. I wonder why they call this stuff monster blood. I don't know. Maybe to scare people off. Hey, let's see how high will bounce. Okay. Did you go into that room, the one I told you not to? Uh, no. Why? Eat one of these. A sugar cookie? Miss Evans' friend? Um, I already ate. Aren't you going to eat it? Thank <laughs> you. 
was your monster blood. I hid it under my bed. I put mine in my closet, and when I woke up, I found this. Whoa! Well, where'd you get all that? On the floor in my closet. It was all over my shoes and everything. There's got to be ten times as much as there was last night. You mean it's growing? That's exactly what I mean. Do you have that beast of yours in here? No, ma'am. Oh, uh... <laughs> Bless you. Well, something is making my sinuses act up. Uh-oh. Empty. I'll be back in a few minutes. My monster blood. <laughs> right. Still growing. Wait, where are you going? Trigger. You need this stuff, remember? Look at those footprints. They're huge. You don't think? They're... Yeah, I do. It's like we've got a ten-foot trigger running around the neighborhood. Should we go look for him? No. No, first we contain the monster. Oh, I hope we got it. Oh, oh this stuff's getting worse. Oh! 
that won't stop it. No, it'll slow it down. We need more. Stupid jar. Too late now. Way too late. Stop! What is going on? Uh, Monster blood. Did I not tell you to stay out of that room? You've unleashed her. Unleashed who? Sarah Beth. Who's Sarah Beth? That cat? That child is no cat. Silence. I see you've met my monster blood. And now my monster blood shall meet you. You mean she's the evil one? Clever boy. But gave you the first clue. Who is she? Why is she doing this? Tell them. Tell them why they're going to be. It was almost 30 years ago. It was about midnight. And I smelled something coming from her room. I never would have taken her on as a boarder if I, if I'd known she was practicing dark magic. I tried to throw her out, but I couldn't. She was too strong, too powerful. But I was lucky. Right when she had me, she stepped into the monster blood. She screamed like a banshee as the monster blood was consuming her. Screams are savage. I can still hear it in my mind. I scooped up the monster blood and put it back in the jar. Sealed it tightly. Then I locked it up and hoped that no one would ever find it. Oh, but someone did find it. Take them, my monster blood. Take them all. Devour and demolish them. Them and consume them. <gasps> My monster blood. Heavens, what's that? Trigger! Get her, Trigger! Nice power. A relief. Trigger! Oh, and you saved us! And that was the end of the wicked Sarah Beth. Now I'm going to Atlanta to meet up with my parents. Is that all true? Every word. Well, folks, looks like we finally got clearance from the tower. Flight attendants prepare for takeoff. What happened to the monster blood? Once we got it back into the jar, we buried it where no one would ever find it. I hope you got it all. Can you imagine if a little piece had stuck to your shoe or something? That would be a disaster. That yeah, wouldn't be good. Where's your dog? Where's Trigger? Well, he's here. On the plane? Mm-hmm. He's down in the cargo hold. Here we go. Are you OK? Flying makes me nervous. Don't worry. I'm sure we're going to have a perfectly normal flight. <laughs> <laughs> 